Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. In this video of a, another Q&A session, we'll be answering the following question, how to have the data grid control show in ascending or descending order when column header is, is clicked. And the answer is uh, twofold. One, uh, at least the way I would do it, is to create indexes on all the columns that I wish to sort on. And two, simply to add code in the click event of each header to do the set order to, and of course to refresh the grid. So I'm going to demonstrate that today. I already have a table called customer, so we'll use customer here, and we can browse. Now, one way to sort your table is to use the sort command, but as you've already seen, if you reviewed my um, free videos, that I don't recommend sorting. I recommend using indexing instead because it uh, uses less disk, disk space, um, whereas sort creates uh, an entire copy of your current file. Indexing uh, is much smaller. It's based on the columns that you specify in that index, and only that data is replicated on disk. Okay, so for this exercise, if I attempt to set order two, you'll see that I get no help from IntelliSense just because I have no orders, or sorry, no indexes on this table as yet. Um, this will be a simple exercise. Let's see how many columns we have here. Now we have quite a few columns. And if you intended to give the ability or to have the ability in your application so that the user can sort on any of the columns that you're displaying, then you would want to create an index on all those columns. For this exercise, we're going to use um, a few of the columns. So we will use company, uh, I will go with title, uh, city, and um, let's go with country. So we'll start by creating the indexes, so I'll say index on company, let's go upper company, tag company, and we'll just repeat this, so we need city here. country so we have one two three four five um, we'll just create one more for customer ID So having just created the cust ID uh, index or tag, my data now displays in that sort order. So guys, remember as the programmer, you determine what happens when. Um, and so a simple exercise here to demonstrate what we're about to do on the form is that if I wish to have this display change to show by city, I would just simply change the order to city, so set order to city, and when I click on the, the grid, the data is now displayed in alphabetical order according to city, okay, and so on. So for our form, we'll be doing the uh, pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and create our form here. So create form. form. Customer. And we'll add 
the table to the data environment. We will then drop said table onto the form and we will get a grid control created for us that is already wired up. So at a quick glance, you can see that if we go to data, the record source is pointing to customer and it's using alias. On the form, the data, data session is the default session. So it's exactly the one that I've been working with here, customer. And so if I were to minimize this. If I were to um, browse this data, you would see it in city order. So we left it ordered by city. It's using the same index that I set. Again, because it's in the default data session. Okay, so we'll go back to the development screen. Okay, so I'm just going to do some quick things here so that when I resize the form, it moves with me. So I think 15 should do that. Um, let's resize this. And we could perhaps change the font. So I like this font, Consolas, and I do 16 for my display, so that looks a lot better. And I will auto size my grid. So we'll say this form dot grid auto fit. And let's run it, control E. Okay, so that looks a lot better. And let's see now, when I resize the form, the grid resize with it. Okay, cool. So now all we need to do is code the click event of these so that when I click on these headers, it um, will sort my grid. So currently, again, we're in title order, but just to demonstrate, I could change the sort order from here. Set order to um, let's go with country. If I come back here, you can see title is shifted. We go over to country. Now blank will sort to the top, but then we have Argentina and Australia, or sorry, Austria, and so on. Okay, so we're now in country order. So again, nothing too complicated about sorting your data. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you, um, I could sort this country in descending order. Even though I didn't create an index in descending order, I could say set order to country, and I could then add the descending clause here. So I could say descending. So now, um, whatever country was at the bottom should be at the top. Okay, so if we scroll, yeah, so Venezuela. And my data is showing now in descending order. So what we want to do is that when we click on the button country, it should first go in ascending order. And if we click again, and it's already in country order, it should just toggle between ascending and descending. Okay, so let's look at how we would do that. So I click on my grid and I can go control click to go into edit mode. You see that blue bar or blue box around the grid control. Then I can click on any of the um, column headers that I want. So we will start with, well, let's start with cust ID. So I click on there and you can then see my properties window change. And then I can go over to method and click on the click event method. And it is simply now to say set order to um, cust ID. Okay, so that will get us in ascending order. Uh, but what if we already had the cust ID order set? We want to also now set it into descending order. One way to check 
if the order is already set, is to use the order function. So I can say if order is equal to cust ID, that it means we're already we are already sorted by cust ID. Cust ID. Okay. So now it's just a matter of determining if um, we should be in ascending order or descending order. Um, okay, I'm thinking, I'm doing this on the fly, guys. So I'm thinking we could say then if descending, so there's a function that we can call that will tell us if we're descending order or not. So if descending, we will do this to put it in ascending. Otherwise, uh, and I think as I'm coding this, I'm seeing better ways to refactor, but we'll come, we'll get to that later. So test ID, and then here I'll say descending. And I could just use the first um, four, so four characters of a clause. I don't have to spell out the word descending. Um, so here I'm checking to see if we've already clicked on ID. So if I click on ID the first time, what's going to happen? Order is going to tell me that it's either empty or set to something else. Um, So we would need an else clause here, and of course this video is not about um, <laughs> code efficiency. All right, so there are better ways to do this, but in the interest of time, I'm going to leave it for now. So if order is equal to customer or cust ID, that is the current column, we will check if it's already descending, then set it in ascending order. Otherwise, set it to be descending order. Um, a shortcut would be to uh, to do this. Sorry, I can't help myself. I have to refactor on the fly. So if it's equal to cost ID and it's descending, all right. Sorry, guys. Let's uh, let's move on. Let's copy this code uh, over to the other columns. Um, but before I do that, let's demo uh, what I was talking about. I'm just going to minimize this for a sec and minimize this for a sec. Um, we have the table, and let's go back and browse our table. And our table, oh, actually we don't want to do that. I need, to, I need the window here. So if I print order now on the table, it will show you that the order is country, okay? And I can print descending to tell me if it's in descending order or not, and it is true, it is currently in descending order. So those are the two functions that I'll be using, uh, where did my window go, okay. to, to pull off this little trick here. So if it's, um, if it's descending, we'll set it in ascending order, otherwise we'll set it in descending order, and by default, we should set it to ascending order. So let's change that. So I'll simply go down to the next header. So we have header one, we'll go to the next header, and I'll paste this, and that would be for company. And we'll have company there. Okay, I'm going to do one more because I think the point is clear here. Um, did I close that? I was using some shortcuts. Okay, let's go here. So we want to do that on on city. I'll copy, change that to city.
And then finally on country. Okay, so I was pressing Control W there just to quickly close the window. So I have the window open, Control W, and that would uh, save and close. So we'll save the form here, and now we will run and see if it works as expected. So we're currently in country order descending. So let's see if we click on country now. Okay, it's not refreshing. So one of the things we forgot, guys, is to put in a form refresh and if I click away and click back on the form then it would it would display in the correct order okay so now we're back in ascending order so we just don't need to have that done automatically so I'm going to double click on my form <clears throat> so here's a little bit of tip a uh, little bit of a tip that when you click on the form it will open up the first window that has code and then I'll just page down and get to all my code edits. And I'll just put this form dot refresh, and that will fix my refresh problem. So we'll copy that, Control C, and then I'll page down to the next one, jump to the bottom, paste, page down, page down, And I think country is the last one, page right, so there are no more. So if I keep paging down, I can cycle through all my code. And it only cycles through um, procedures that have, or events that have um, code in there. So let's um, test this again. Save our changes. I'll stretch the grid. And I'll click on Cust ID. So now it's refreshing. Uh, one thing you could do as well is go top. Not sure if you want to do that necessarily because you may want to remain on the record that you are already working with. Um, I don't think I did title. I know I did company. Let's do this one. So company is refreshing. And we did city. So London, click on here. So now we're in ascending order. And if I click again, it should now be in descending order where the blank shows at the bottom, and we have, well, showing in descending order. So that's a gang. That's how I would um, accomplish uh, sorting my data, clicking on the grid header. Again, to point out that you want to be careful with this because... Um, Creating indexes for every column in your table is not wise. Okay, it can have you can have performance issues because indexes must be updated every time um, updates are done against the table. Okay, hopefully that helps. See you in the next video.